Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how we can turn this into this. Keep watching and let's see what we can do. Okay, so here we are in the magical world of Photoshop. We opened a new document 1200 by 900. Let's bring our first picture here. This one. And put it in our background. I want to right click, flip horizontal, and I want to make it a little bit like so. Okay, then I will make mask for this one. And with the black brush selected, sorry, faded brush, with the black brush selected, I will remove some parts of this image, like so. Okay. Then our second picture here, our sky, I will bring it here also, put it on top and make it under the other layer, like so. And go back to the mask of the under layer, of the top layer, sorry, and try to remove some parts of it until we see the horizon line, like so. Maybe I will bring the sky a little bit higher to be like so. I guess now it's better. We can even remind, we refine the mask as much as we want. I'm sure all this will be editable later. Okay for now. We can put this to one group and rename this BG for background. And we can remove this, we don't need this anymore. For our mermaid, the main picture, we will use this one, this beautiful lady here. I already extract her from the background, but let me put a solid color underneath her to see what we are doing. Okay, then I want to bring the tail. You will find all these pictures in the description. I will take this one, I already opened it here. I need this one in the middle. So, I will take it and put it here. Let's make it on top of her. Then, Control T, Control T, or Transform, make it bigger. Right click, flip horizontal, and rotate it until it fits her waist. Try to reposition it until it fits her waist. I guess now it's okay. Okay, then I will go to the mask of the lady herself. Then with the brush selected, with the black brush selected, let's take the hard one. And I will remove the under parts of her. Like so. Let's make the tail a little bit bigger. Or let's try to rotate, rotate it till it fits there. Now it's better, I guess. Okay, then I will make another mask for the tail. And with the faded brush, I will try to blend to blend it a little bit. Remove some of the hard edges, like so. Okay, then on her layer, not the mask, her layer, with the quick selection tool, I will try to select her clothes.
then on top of her I will add a new adjustment layer new saturation adjustment layer then reduce the saturation a little bit let's take it you have to see okay we will try first to reduce the saturation a little bit then we will try to add some greens let's hit colorize try to make it a little bit greenish cyanish like so until you find it more convincing let's try to make it a little bit darker yes I think now it's okay control zero to fit the screen then I bring these three together in one group and rename this and call it mermaid and take all this to our document control C here control V now it's too big control T control 0 let's resize her to fit the area we want to put her on control 0 to C I guess now it's okay okay and we can also adjust her later okay for now now what else can we do to her obviously the lighting is too different so for a start we can go inside here and on top of her layer we make a new curves layer and clip it to affect only her and reduce the lightness oh sorry this is for the new situation for her layer on top of her layer or even better we can remove this on the mermaid herself we can make this curve adjustment layer to affect her and the tail together and reduce the overall lighting a little bit like so okay then under her we can make we can take a copy of her of this group we click this again and for the under one we can right click and convert to smart object now it's only one layer control T and while clicking alt we can drag this down like so this will be the shadow we can click on warp and try to adjust it manually like so okay double click color overlay black okay now we will change the blending mode to multiply then reduce opacity a little bit and make most for this and with the black brush selected you will remove some parts here and there reduce it a little bit and in the filter blur Gaussian blur and try to see which value sorry the blur for the layer itself not uh, not the mask blur Gaussian blur and see which one fits best I guess around 6.4 is okay and we can even reduce our velocity a little more okay 
we can bring all these together in one group and rename this mermaid total okay then we can bring this fish here open it in a new document we can close this we don't need this anymore we can also close this okay with the quick selection tool we will try to select this fish While clicking out, you can take away from the selection, like so. Okay, then click the mask. Control C. In our document, Control D. Control T for transforming. Control zero to fit to screen. Then try to reduce the size of the fish, like so. it a little bit and put this fish in a group and rename this fish okay in the background folder on top of everything I want to add a curves adjustment layer and reduce the overall lightning a little bit And also, I will try to add some color balance layer and take the colors towards the cyan and maybe some green and maybe some yellows, like so. Okay, now I want to add a sun here in this area. So I'll bring this picture here. On top of the background area then I'll change the blending mode to screen this will take away all the blacks and then I will resize it a little bit and put it around here make it a little smaller then I will add a mask for it and remove these parts like so then also I can go and add a little bit of blur let's try motion blur 6 no sorry not motion blur radial blur let's try amount 10 ok 10 is ok so this we will put this in a group and rename this sun so now we have added our sun the sun must affect these areas and these areas here and there on both the mermaid and the fish so we will go again inside the fish layer and on top of the fish layer and add a new and saturation adjustment layer and click on colorize and try to have a bright yellow or orangey color and clip it to the fish and on the mask convert the mask by clicking Ctrl I this will hide everything then repaint the highlights with the white brush even highlights here the highlights will affect this area the highlights 
that will affect this area and also this area will be affected try to check which area will be affected like so control zero before and after before and after also on top of everything make a new layer with the brush selected I will try to pick an orangish color maybe make it a little bit red, uh, yellow like so make this a little bit bigger and make one dab and change the blending mode to screen this will add this nice effect of the sun rays on both of them make it a little bit bigger okay now back to the mermaid layer to do the same as we did on top of everything I will add a hue, a hue saturation adjustment layer clip it click colorize and choose a bright orange color or yellow make it a little bit brighter then convert the mask by clicking ctrl i then with the white brush selected I will paint the highlights on her like so in the areas that will be affected by the sun rays add some here add some here and a little bit here also like so see the before after makes really nice effect and a whole lot of okay what else can we add we can go here for this cliff open it in the new document let's close this one then with the quick selection tool we can select this mountain you don't have to be so precise then make a mask and take this to our design here control T flip horizontal control 0 and resize it to make it a little bit smaller and put it here on this side control 0 we can put this in one group also and rename this cliff on top of the cliff I want to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer clip it and reduce the saturation a little bit and on top of it I can add a new layer clip it below and with the brush selected shortcut key for brush is B I want to take sample this color and paint over this and change the blending mode to color and maybe I reduce it a little bit then I can go to the mask with the faded brush selected with the black color remove some of this to appear as if it is inside the water
and then we can add some blur to it let's see the original blur not that much of course Then on the mask for these white edges appeared I'll go to filter other minimum and try two pixels two pixels or one pixel let's see one pixel two pixels two pixels is better okay I want to reduce this a little bit Okay, enough for the cliff. What else can we add to the scene? We can add the trident here. With any selection tool, click select subject. then click mask and take this to our design control T make it a little smaller bring it down here like so make it here a little bit smaller control 0 and on the mask I want to remove this area and then I want to add shadow for it here because the sun is coming from this direction so the shadow will be coming this direction like her shadow okay then I will put it in a group and rename this trident Then I will duplicate this layer and for the under one we we'll convert it to smart object control T and rotate it like so make it a little bit smaller So position it, then double click color overlay black, then go to filter blur Gaussian blur. 3.5 is ok change the blending mode to multiply and opacity reduce it I guess 70 72 is ok ok control 0 to fit to screen we can also add let's close this we don't need this anymore we can add these birds here we put them in a group and we call this group On top of the birds, I will add a new layer, 
and clip it to affect the birds and change the color to white and with the brush selected I will make them white okay then another layer on top of them and also clip it and sample this color and add some of it okay and change the blending mode to see which one fit better it will not be visible hard light is okay but we reduce our steel a little bit okay then we can bring our bird here this one make it a little smaller put it here in a group rename it bird one on top of our bird we will make a new layer clip it to affect the bird and sample this color and make a brush on it and maybe change the opacity a little bit or go and make it color the blending mode color see before and after now it's blending before it was not blending and we will do the same with the other bird in this one here on this side a little smaller put it around here I want to rotate it like so a little bit and then put it in a group first call this bird 2 on top of bird 2 I'll do the same make new layer clip it and with this color selected I'll paint over him change the blending mode to color and reduce the opacity a little bit on the bird itself I'll go to filter blur motion blur this time I'll use motion blur with the angle 65 and the distance let's try 14 14 is too much 11 is too much maybe 8 or 6 6 is ok to add some motion to the image ok let's check what we have also that's it I guess ok now it's time for finishing for finishing on top of everything we can add first a color lookup table let's see crisp warm crisp warm see now before and after makes a whole lot difference then on top of this we can add another lookup table but this time I want to choose orange this one but I will reduce the opacity a little bit like so see now the before and after and on top of both I will make a screenshot of everything below by clicking ctrl shift alt B e. convert to smart object then I will go to filter camera row filter
okay let's try this slider let's add more contrast to the scene then also add some texture add some clarity okay then in the FX tab I want to add some vignette and maybe if you want let's try in, in the split tuning to add some yellows in the highlights and some green to the shadows now it's popping even more okay see this is before this is after then I will put all those finishing on top of it first I will add another curves adjustment layer and just raise this just a touch to give it a little fadey look and blend everything together see before and after now it's much better I guess then I will add all this together in one group and rename this finishing so this is before finishing this is after finishing and that's it for today thank you very much for watching see you next time